Right, so welcome back. As you can see, I'm in Camo Corner. That's purely because I was filming this bit out on the bank when I was on the last social. If you haven't seen that video, pop over and see that social. The only problem is I filmed it in the wrong settings for the camera schoolboy error uh, but i couldn't go back and recatch the fish so we had to just make the best we could with that one on um, but i could redo this so i waited till i got home in camo corner and then i refilmed it for you um, so anyway if you haven't subscribed um then go and subscribe like and comment if you ever are a subscriber thanks for coming back and watching again this this is um this isn't a carp tackle quickie um it's, it's probably a bit more of a review but it will be a quicker one um but it's a bit of kit i've been using for a while and i really like it so i thought i'd just uh share it with you okay so on this one what i'm going to do is the halo power multi-light this is it, I'll show you a bit more in a minute and what it comes with. Um, it's a bivy light, it's a power source, it's a photography light. Um, I'll do the techie specy bit first then we'll get into it. It's a 6,000 milliamp hour battery. Um, it's USB chargeable, it has a solar panel which is 150 milliamp hour. Um, it's four brightness settings on it, 500 lumens, 250 lumens, 100 lumens and 10 lumens i bought this around about december in 2020 uh, and i paid 59 pounds for it i've just looked up now around about 65 pounds now so uh, that's the specky bit done i'll now get into the what how we use it so let's uh, get into it then so basically uh, they say it does four and a half hours on high mode light from a full charge i'll tell you in a minute what i did with it so on the front i'll just show you the size from the front there's the front it's against my hand so you can see i've got an average size hand and then the side is about that and that's the end um on this end you have battery power indicators you have a screw there for tripod or bank stick. Uh, on the other end is like a silicone rubby rubber sort of sleeve. And um, there is. <laughs> let's get a bit closer. US C on off switch and USB. And then on the back, as you can see there, let's get that. Out of the back, there is your um, solar panel, and then let's go to the side. You might be able to see it better. There is an adjustable. Uh, that's better. You can see now. There's an adjustable stand. It sort of click, 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 and in different positions to there. And then it also has in there two magnets to stick it to something. Um, it took me a while to find stickers. What I was going to stick it to because not many, not many bivvies are made out of metal. Um, but what I used it for once was I stuck it to my van while I was loading and unloading my van when it was dark. So it has got its uses. Right, so when you buy it, you do get about a meter long cable with it. Um, these are the ends. As you can see there, you have these plastic caps on it which come off. They're quite nice. They just keep the crap out of the ends. So on this end, I'll just take that off so you can see. It's just a normal USB. And then this end has a lightning connector for iPhones, iPads. And then if you can see here, this splits. I'll just pull it apart so you can see. So it splits and that is a normal USC connector. It also has on it a little bit of velcro that can slide up and down and that's just so when you wrap the cable up you just whip that round and stick it on and it don't get tangled up the other thing you get with it when you buy it is one of these and basically that can just clip in there and you can hang on and you know on the bivvy somewhere most bivvies have a, a bit in the center now I, I use the front here and that's that's got the bit in the center so yeah that's really good for that i fully charged it and um, it took round about three hours to charge. I've done this twice. I've only ever charged this three times in the year and a half I've had it. Um, I'll tell you why in a minute. Um, so a, a three hours roughly to charge it. Um, I did one, I ran my iPhone 11 Pro Max fully out of can charge, so it actually shut down. I plugged it in, it done one complete full charge of the iPhone. And then what I did is I put it on full power of the Bivy, like the 500 lumens, and then ran it until it ran out. And it went for 10 minutes, 51 seconds. Uh, so that don't sound a lot, one charge of an iPhone and that, but you're never gonna use it that. Um, 
it's not, I don't use it as a power source. I use it as a photography light, basically. That's all I use it for. And sometimes a, a bivy light, but mainly for a photography light. So it never, it never really going to use it like that. But it can, you, I suppose you can do for a quick overnight just to get you out of trouble. What I um, do is, because of the solar panel, is, and the reason I've only ever charged it three times in the, th the year and a half, had it, I charged it when I first got it, and I did, I ran it flat twice to charge it twice, just to give you sort of an accurate sort of full charge, and roughly around three hours each time. The reason being is, when I use it, you only ever use a light at night, you don't use it during the day. So during the day, I chuck it on my bivy, which you'd have probably seen in the V2 um, uh, tracker bivy I did. Um, it's just chucked on the roof. I do it on, I do it on any, all bivvies I use. I just chuck it on the roof during the day and the solar power charges it. And that puts enough charge in it so you can use it at night. So I very rarely charge it. Um, it's fully charged now. Um, and I'll probably not bother charging it again because all I, let's say all I do is just chuck it on the roof or chuck it on a bait bucket outside during the day and it charges. When it's charging outside you will, you'll be able to see it's charging because the blue lights light up. Right, just one thing, <laughs> another thing I got wrong here. Um, when I said the blue lights light up when it's charging, it's not, it's red. So I've got that hand over it now, see it's not charging. You'll see just here a red light come on when I take my hand away so it starts to charge. There's a red light, not charging, charging. Right, so what I do, I'm just going to show you on the end light. I'll just turn it on so you can see. Uh, there we go. There's the blue light so light up. I'll turn it on. Oh, this is on the low mode, the 10 lumens. And if you can see, it's got, uh, there you go. It's got 18 LEDs in there. So that's uh, how I, just that's on the low mode so you can see it. Um, the other thing with this is I use the Frontier X, so I'm guessing the um, the Frontier and the also the XD have the square pockets in the corners, and these fit perfectly in that. So I just store it in there till I need it. Um, I, I use, like I said, I use it mainly for a photography light. I do use it alongside my, uh, not the, uh, what's it called? The Rhino Beam, Rhino Beam light. Um, again, I've, I've done a review on that, so if you want to go and have a look at that, you can do. I use it alongside that or instead of it, depending on, on what I've got at the time and which is charged. But um, yeah, great bit of kit. Would I buy it again? Yes, I would actually. I do like it. I'm going to put a video up and a few photographs after this bit so you'll be able to see it. And I've done it pitch black and then I turned it on to 500, down to the 2, down to the 1, down to the 10. So you'll be able to see it from black down to the different stages. Um, and I've also done some pictures of it sitting at different angles and chucked on the bivy in, and I've clipped it in bits and pieces. So, uh, yeah, I I'd use it again. If you haven't got... Um, if you haven't got a bivy light then, or a photography light, then it's great because it, it can do both. And like I say, I, I wouldn't use it for a power source. I've got two other power sources. Again, done reviews for them. If you want to go and have a look at them uh, in my playlist, you can do. Um, so, but yeah, great, great bit of kit and uh, quality is great. Um, as usual with all the Fox stuff. Um, so yeah, it's just a quick one just to show you. It's took me a while to do it purely because I, I keep forgetting because I just, charge it chuck it in my bag and 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 go bring it out when i need it use it charge it again chuck it in the bag it's so easy uh whereas some things you, you just forget to charge them when you get home but you don't have to worry about this because you get there in the daylight chuck it on your bivy it charges during the day you use it at night simples so here you can see on top of the bivy just charging during the day and in this one, I've just put it through the Velcro rod strap on the bivy. You get different angles. Here's the different angles for on the stand. As you can see, you can have it at different angles depending on what, what you require it to do. So in this one, you can see it hanging from the center bivy hook. In this one, this is pitch black at night. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it on. You press it once to come on, and then you press it again for, there you go, 500 lumens, this is. The next one you press again and there you go that's 250 lumens and then for the next press it will go down to 100 lumens and then for the next press it'll just go down to 10 lumens and then i'm going to turn it off and it'll just go back to pitch black at night again there you go the other thing is um, my only problem with it is which well, is not a big problem really but as I showed you the stand angles, it does stop there. 
it's a shame really in some way it couldn't have gone all the way around so it's angled like that for your light different angles if you could have angled it for the solar panel so somehow you could have just angled it I mean, if you obviously it falls over you could wedge it in something i suppose or put some put you put some lead patch on it or something like that but it'd have been nice if some way um, you could have angled it towards the sun but again it's not a big issue because all you do is just lay it down I say just lay it down and it's charging <laughs> <laughs>